Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Panda Nose Linguistics. I'm your host Jack Mao. So today we're gonna learn Chinese pinyin pronunciations. That's right. If you are a beginner student of Chinese, you might find Chinese pronunciations are quite difficult to master. So I think why not give a shot? So here I am. So hopefully this one will help you. Along the way of your Chinese learning journey, so what is a pinyin system? Let's have a look. So we all know that Chinese uses characters, but characters do not show accurate pronunciations. For example, all these three are characters pronounced as ba, and all three of these characters are pronounced as hua. They really don't have any similarities between them in characters, but they all pronounce the same. So, here's the question, or here are many problems with this: how to effectively teach kids characters in school, and how to type characters quickly when you know computer can <laughs> came to existence, and、uh, how to promote communication between people who speak different dialects in China. Well, Chinese government said. We need a phonetic representational system for the characters. Hence, ta-da! Pinyin was born around the 1960s. The word pinyin is the name for this phonetic representational system, and pin means to combine, and in means sound. So pinyin means to combine the sounds together. So. How many kinds of、uh, consonants and vowel combinations are possible in Chinese? Well, here is the formula. So C means consonants and V means vowels. So Chinese can have up to two vowels in the middle, and you can have up to one consonant at the beginning. And of course, you can have an ending of a syllable, but you can only end a syllable. With n or ng, so the parentheses means they are optional. So here are the combinations that are possible in Chinese: just a vowel, for example, this character a, a consonant plus a vowel fa, a consonant plus a vowel and a n gan, a consonant plus a vowel and a ng ding, a consonant plus two vowels hua, and a consonant. Plus two vowels plus ng, xiong, and a consonant plus two vowels plus n, like qian. So you can see there are a lot of、um, legal combinations we can find in Chinese syllables. So now let's look at them one by one. So this episode is all about vowels. I will make another video about consonants. So all vowels in Chinese starts with the six single vowels. They are a, w, e, i, w, u. Okay. Why I put the quotation marks for the word single? Because actually they are not single. They have a lot of changes and different、um, pronunciations in different scenarios. So let's look at them more closely. So let's start with a.、Uh, this is very easy. So. Just scream, okay, on the top of your lung. Ah, like you know, imagine you're on the top of the mountain, and then you are just so stressed. You need to let all your stress out. Ah, easy, right? Okay, let's continue. Next one. Oh, why I have a cat here? Well, <laughs> this cat is annoyed because this character, this vowel, is pronounced as o. Just as in English, annoy or boy or toy. Please repeat after me. Oh, oh, excellent. Okay, let's continue. Next one is very very special. English does not have this sound. Well, that's not true. <laughs> Actually, I found three words that have this sound, but they are spelled with different letters in English. About, a,、uh, supply. S, memory, m. See, we have a a a here. So this is a Chinese sound. But let's apply some force. May the force be with you. That's right. So let's do it. Uh, uh. 
<laughs> hmm, somebody might have some problem with bathroom. <laughs> Alright, next one. This one is very easy. Let's just smile. Big, big smile. And let's pronounce E. E. Like in English, B, me, or fee. Next one also easy. Make a kissy face <laughs> and say ooh, ooh, as in English, fool or sue or boo. Okay? Now the last one is a little difficult because it's a hybrid. What does it mean? Your mouth shape is like oo, which we just learned. But you're actually pronouncing e inside, okay? So let's first do the u mouth, u, and then keep that shape and pronounce e instead. But don't move your lips. E, e. Did you get it? If you can't, there's another way to do it. First, pronounce e as a big smile as you can get. Then let's get our smile smaller, smaller, and smaller until you reach the lip of a oo. Then you will have your perfect e. German, French, Swedish, a lot of languages have this sound. And there's a spelling rule associated with this sound. So this letter will lose the dots if it is after J, Q, X, Y. So for example, X, U should be pronounced as X, E. So we will learn how to pronounce these consonants in the next episode. So now we have learned the six basic single vowels in Chinese. Now we need to learn how to slide from one to another because most Chinese syllables have more than one vowels. So we need to know how to do the combination. So basically we need to slide from one vowel to another. It works for most vowel combos. So for example, we have the letter combination a and e. So what do we need to do is to first pronounce a, then slide into e as smooth as you can. Let's try it. I, I. That's right. So you produced the sound that is English I, right? I. That's very easy. Uh, let's look at another example. O and U. So first we pronounce o, then let's slide to u. O, o. So we have the sound o as in English goat. Now is the juicy part, juicy alert, because there are special sliding changes and uh, some of them are hidden. It's not written. The number one, the letter o. When O is after B, P, M, F, sound U is inserted before O. You didn't see that coming, did you? So for example, B, O actually is pronounced B, U, O. So in Chinese it would be B, U, O. B, B. That's right. If without U, it'll be B, B. But it's not. It's Bo, bo. Same thing for M-O. So this is your first special sliding changes. Let's do the second one. So these ones, we learned that Chinese letter E is pronounced as uh, Remember to apply the force? Yeah? But if the letter E is in one of these combinations, it is not pronounced as uh as in about, but is pronounced as e, as in bed. So the first one, we have to slide from e to e. A, e, as in the word hey or bay or may. A. E. And the second one, we have to slide from e to e, not to e. Right? So we have e, e, as in yes. So you can do the rest the same way. Easy, right? Next one, we have UI. UI is actually pronounced as U plus A. So actually, it's pronounced as way, as English, way. So let's try again. U, A, 
E way way slide right remember to slide next one is I U which is opposite of U I but the pronunciations differ quite a bit so for example this one is actually have a hidden O in the middle so this one we should slide from E to O and to U like this so it will be pronounced as yo yo as in the word leo so it rhymes with leo actually although it looks very different so remember i u is actually i o u next one is an this combination will change if it's after e u or a y and then if that's the case it is pronounced as n so for example b i a n b n it's not bian it's bian so it's a b plus yen as in japanese currency <laughs> yen so bian so if it's just y a n the a n will change into e n yen yen got it let's continue next one is u n u n is actually u e n as in the word wendy wendy wen wen so let's try a few examples t u n tu n tuan tuan and then next one is chinese way to pronounce the city london luan duan luan duan luan duan all right okay that's all the special slidings there are <laughs> there's there's nothing more so let's put all together i will pronounce every single vowel combination in chinese and remember to repeat after me uh, o, e, e, u, y, i a way ow o yo yeah yeah er an n in when yun ang ang ying ong that's it guys <laughs> easy right <laughs> maybe not so much you say huh easy for you to say right jack well practice makes perfect right so because you need some practice i also prepared some practice for you so i listed all the special rules on the right side and there are 10 words that i want you to pause right now and try to pronounce yourself and then i will pronounce for you i will count three dan pei bie Leo Wen Hui Fu Nian Kuo Meng. Did you get it? Pay attention if they are not in the special rules. Remember just to slide from one another using the original pronunciation. That's all for today. Thanks for watching the first part of Chinese pinyin vowels. The second part of consonants will be coming soon. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode of Panda Nose Linguistics. 再见, bye.